police just confirmed that this car behind me is in fact involved. CHP says the interview with the man who hit and killed that 12 year old girl was brief. They don't know when this will be exactly cleared up, but again, the road is partially open so cars can sneak by. Some people in the community would say we're going backwards on the federal level. Yeah, what are you doing to make sure California keeps moving forward? This is typically not the happiest time of the year until you actually reach your destination because you never know when one will happen. That's right. So, Drop, cover, hold on. This all started off as a traffic stop with a suspected DUI driver. A lot goes into coordinating more than 5,000 firefighters who are fighting this big of a fire. Do you want a pep rally at 530 in the morning? Here's your pep rally at 5.30 in the morning. Even their mascot, Mona, is here. I have the head of communications for the Warriors looking at me right now. If I say the Chase Center, she'll come over and smack me. It's just Chase Center. The whole idea is to completely separate bikes from the car traffic. San Francisco doesn't always smell so great. This place always smells great. Part of the Strauss Family Creamery's mission is to also work with companies that use sustainable materials. SFPD investigators are going around to the local businesses in this area asking if they've seen anything suspicious. Bullets left giant holes and shattered some of the windows here last night. JJ jeweler owner Edgardo Campos has owned this store for 30 years. I would not be surprised because this happened like every month, kind of often. He says almost 10 years ago to the day he was shot himself right in the face. This morning he shows us the bullet holes that pierced his store. You can see the, the hole in the outside, I mean in my shop. You see the, see the scratch right there in the boxes? That's the one that went through. You see in the wall, you see the hole right there? You can see them. Last night around midnight, police say a man was shot on the sidewalk right in front of J.J. Jeweler on 24th Street between Cap Street and South Van Ness. Police were alerted to the shooting through the city's shot spotter program. The automatic alerts by shot spotter is a, a great assistance to us. It does save time and it uh, keeps us from having to deal with any eyewitnesses that may have had a different view. Once officers got here, they saw a car leaving the scene that they believed was possibly related to the shooting. They pursued it, but they lost track of it. Vehicle description and its identity as well as its occupants is part of the investigation. One man was found on the 3200 block of 24th Street suffering from gunshot wounds. Medics were called in, but the man died on the scene. The medical examiner's office is still working to identify the victim. In San Francisco, Jackie Ward, KPIX 5. They're keeping me busy today. On our ride along with the city of Santa Clara, it didn't take us long to find people breaking the law, like these people on the San Tomas Expressway who were driving solo in the carpool lane, or these drivers who were busted for speeding through the school zone near Scott Lane Elementary. You could easily make 10 stops in front of a school, one officer, and if you had multiple, you could probably get more. It just depends how many can actually work the spot with you. A few things these patrols are looking for, people speeding through school zones, seatbelt violators, and anyone on their phone. It makes a huge impression on the public. So when you have, you know, 20, 30 motor officers roll into a town and start doing traffic enforcement, it definitely catches everybody's attention. Today also gives police an opportunity to explain some newer things on the road that may be confusing, like these signal lights. I thought I stopped. He said I did not stop. Got a warning because I'm probably shaking. I dropped everything. I had to get everything out of my car um, and my uh, registration, but I'm okay. If you get pulled over in Santa Clara, you'll no longer be getting a written ticket. They're the only department in the county to use a ticket writing app on their iPhone. It scans driver's information and is directly connected to the court's cloud system, eliminating most confusion on how to pay the ticket or how to fight it and where. Police handed out 89 non-commercial moving violations and 16 warnings. In Santa Clara, Jackie Ward, KPIX 5.